The dominant narrative's representation of females in romance in Hollywood films is detrimental to both males and females. These popular film portrayals reflect, shape, and reinforce pre-existing ideals. They normalize socialized and condition misogynistic concepts that perpetuate a sexist cycle in society. The gender dichotomy, a division between the males and females that are represented as opposing and or differing vastly, paints an unattainable and unrealistic standard for young girls everywhere. Hollywood films and shows define female identity and security of self through the approval of a male counterpart. Beauty and getting the guy are the criteria for female confidence, success, empowerment, and happiness. This then limits females watching these sorts of media to looking for their identity within a man. Without such approval, they feel as though they have failed. This belittles women to standards much lower than they are able of. Instead, film should focus less on hyper-feminine and hyper-sexualized images and represent praise for more substantial qualities. Female stories should be about the characters and their personalities, not their appearance, the way in which men are represented in films. In Hollywood, female expressive individuality is depicted as having the approval of a man. However, in reality, expressive individuality is about defining one's own success, rejecting conventionally defined success, material wealth, and social pressure to succeed. A common trope for coming of age in romance stories is the infamous makeover scene. While when viewing such scenes on the surface level, this scene can appear as a feel-good moment, it is only perpetuating the long-withstanding idea that for a woman to be successful and get the guy, her looks are the only important factor. The makeover scene leads to getting the guy and equals a happy ending. This does not resolve any of the true life character issues and limits these female characters to beautified objects with no depth. Another harmful factor to female representation in films is the lack of romantic representation. There is an astonishing lack of diversity in romance films. This lacking of inclusivity in such a widespread form of media has damaging consequences. The teaching of empathy and love is limited to heterosexual and often white couples, leading many to believe that any non-heterosexual person is undeserving of such experiences. A counter-narrative, stories that offer a challenge to or raise questions about the dominant narrative, to this genre is pariah. In the main character, Alike's search and culmination of her identity, she's able to find herself without the aid of a romantic relationship. Rather, she finds fulfillment and empowerment in her writing, gaining entry to an elite writing program. The use of a relationship for her during the course of the movie was more focused on her exploring her an identity she already knew existed, using it as a learning experience and an opportunity for growth. In opposition to the portrayal of heterosexual females in popular media, Lee does not ultimately find fulfillment in a significant other. She struggles with hyper-feminine beauty standards, mostly at the hands of her mother, yet she defies the conventional notions of female beauty and fashion instead embracing her identity. Inclusive narratives are crucial in popular media to teach people to perceive themselves and others in a positive light, as well as to educate them on different narratives. Another issue with the dominant narrative films is the conflation of gender and sexuality, as seen in the characters of Damien and Janice in Mean Girls. The conflation of gender and sexuality is incredibly problematic since the two are separate and non-interfering concepts. The way in which one decides to present themselves, whether corresponding to dominant societal views or not, does not determine their sexuality. Sexuality. This further perpetuates the strict notion of what female beauty and success can be. If you do not fit the hyperfeminine standards, you are either gay or an outcast. This is also harmful as it paints being gay as negative. Although Hollywood is not completely there just yet, it is making strides in the progress of female representation. Parks and Rec is a popular TV comedy that features a diverse cast of characters, all with distinct personalities. Leslie Nope is one of the main characters in a female in power in the local government. Nope is an outspoken feminist who defies the hyper-feminine, ditzy representations of women often found in media. It is important to have more female depictions such as Nope, as she can become a good role model for young girls and offer a different, more positive representation of what a woman really can be and achieve. It is time to turn this counter-narrative into the dominant one.